When a weight is tied on the end of a string and is pulled back and released, it creates a pendulum. It takes time, or sorry, the time it takes for the pendulum to swing out and return to its original position is called the period, and it depends on the length of the string. For small release angles like the one in the video, because there's a video that goes along with this question, we can use the equation t equals 2 pi times the square root of l over g, where t is the period of the swing in seconds, l is the length of the string in meters, g is the gravity, which is about 9.8 meters per second squared. My stopwatch estimated the period to be 1.38 seconds, uses to determine the length of the string in meters to at least three decimal places. So they give us the period, it's 1.38, so I'll put that in place of t, 2 pi is just 2 pi, L we're trying to find, and gravity is 9.8. So we need to solve for L. Uh, so we're going to start off by dividing by 2 pi, because we want to isolate that radical. Now I'm not actually going to put that in my calculator yet. We want to avoid rounding error, error, and no matter how many decimal places you use for pi, it's still going to be uh, an, you know, a rounding. All right, once the radical is isolated, you can square both sides to get rid of it. So we have 1.38 over 2 pi squared is equal to L over 9.8. Now the last step to get L by itself would be to multiply both sides by 9.8. All right, so the 9.8s on the right cancel. And now I'm ready to go ahead and put it all in my calculator. So I'm going to start off by putting 1.38 divided by parentheses 2 pi and parentheses. You have to have the parentheses, otherwise it's going to divide by 2 and multiply by pi. We're going to square that and then multiply by 9.8. If done correctly, you should get point. 4, 7, 2, 7, and since we're rounding to three decimal places, it's going to be 0. .473.